Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Spiritual Boot Camp. Beloved family, our text says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then. Ephesians 6, 12-13 Picture with me for a moment an army base and a drill sergeant walking around the base randomly making soldiers do push-ups or do some type of drill. Drop and give me 50, he says. To another, give me a 100. This is what he does all day walking around giving soldiers challenges or they do push-ups to be strengthened for the combat mission. Many of them don't know the reason, but every time they see him, they become prepared to comply with his order. And he continues giving them random tests of assignment in their basic training. Another word for this is boot camp. It is for new recruits with strict discipline. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Ephesians 6, 11. The full armor, all of it. But as we know, none of the recruits in training can utilize the armor unless they are trained in its use. We must put on the breastplate of righteousness because the enemy will attack our heart to see if it really belongs to God. To see if we honor God with our lips and not our heart. How do we defend? By righteousness. In obedience to the word of God and to be in right standing with him. We have to guard our hearts by trusting in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And we want only life to come out of our mouth. We must put on the helmet of salvation because the enemy will attack our minds and our thoughts. We have to renew our minds and hold every thought captive. How? To the knowledge of salvation. We must put on the belt of truth buckled around our waist because the enemy will attack us with lies. And what happens when lies are in our mouth, in our hearts, and in our lives? We end up having ourselves exposed. Yes, the belt of truth around our waist falls to the ground and exposes our nakedness and shame. This is what Satan did to Adam and Eve, expose their nakedness, guilt, and shame with a lie. So God, in his love, covered up their nakedness and shame with the truth of judgment. But God puts the belt of truth of judgment around our waist, not just to punish us, but to save us from sin and rebellion. We must take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This one is like a rocket launcher. In basic training and boot camp, you learn what weapons are used for. But they are all connected. If I'm not guarding my heart with the helmet of salvation or breastplate of righteousness or shield of faith, then I can't effectively execute the word of God. If I don't have the faith to believe what I say, what good are the words that come out of my mouth? But if we believe and we are in right standing or righteousness with our God and have a repented heart and renewed mind, then no demon, no ruler, no evil, no dominion, no principality, no scheme, the very gates of hell cannot prevail against us. This is why the prophet said in Isaiah 47, 17, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. 
The word heritage is the word inheritance. Isaiah is talking about our rights as children of the Most High and kingdom citizens. We have a right that no weapon form shall prosper. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. No weapon shall prosper against us. This is our right. The Holy Spirit is like a drill sergeant telling us to push up out of the mess we're in. Push up out of mediocrity. Push up out of doubt. Push up out of fear. Push up out of trials and tribulation. He's just doing this to build our faith muscles. But he's also saying you need Christ Jesus to push you up. You can't do it on your own. Samuel says in 2 Samuel 2 about our spiritual boot camp. With your help, I can advance against the troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Much love.